Around 8.40 on Monday night, 19-year-old Kemar Nicholas was socializing here on this basketball court in front of his house in Lindo's Alley when he was shot. Nicholas and some friends were hanging out when someone rode up on a bicycle and fired several shots. One of the bullets hit Nicholas to the left side of the neck. The teenager is now listed in a critical condition in intensive care unit at the KHMH. Following the shooting, police later discovered this bicycle believed to belong to the gunman. The bike was found on Cemetery Road. This Sig Sauer brand weapon with an empty magazine, believed to have been used in the shooting, was also dumped in a yard on Muscle Street and later recovered by police. This latest shooting is the third for this year, targeting men from the Kongshell Bay area with two fatalities. On January 1st, 22-year-old Colin Sutherland was shot and killed as he walked on the Youth for the Future Drive, where a man in a vehicle lay waited him. A little over two weeks later, police arrested and charged Pink's Alley resident Daniel Kane with Sutherland's murder. But less than a week after that arrest, another attempt was made on the lives of two Kongshell Bay residents, brothers Clinton and Michael Fraser. On Sunday night, the siblings were socializing in front of the Kongshell Bay Fish Market when at least two men rode up on separate bicycles and fired multiple shots, one fatally wounding Clinton Fraser and the other injuring his younger brother, Michael Fraser. Less than 24 hours later, police arrested and charged Henry Rudolph Harris with murder and attempted murder for the Fraser brothers. Police can't make a connection among the shootings and murders or to say whether they were committed in retaliation of the multiple murders around the city. What is there to tell is that four men from the Kongshell Bay area have been targeted near their home in three weeks. Two were dead, two were injured and recovering. In an interview on Monday, police said that their interventions continue in that area since gunmen targeted two Kongshell Bay residents. Well, I can assure you that OCED South um, ACP Williams is doing his intervention and he will continue to do his intervention in that area as well as other areas on the south side of Williams City. We are cognizant of the fact that, yes, this is a second murder in that area, and we are looking at some angles of our intervention as well. Do you anticipate any retaliation for this murder? Well, at the police department, we do not anticipate anything. We try our best to prevent. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.